FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. As Ukraine came under attack from Russian forces in late February, Valchmerkovsky felt hopeless. His brother, fellow Dancing with the Stars pro Max Chmerkovsky, was in Kyiv, the Ukrainian capital, when the fighting broke out. In addition to worrying about Max, Val worried about Ukraine, where the two were born and have so many memories. Speaking to people, the TV show, for Friday's episode, via Zoom from a warehouse in Fort Lee, New Jersey, that was stacked with relief for Ukraine, Val said he and his brother, who made his way back to the US in early March, wanted to do more than just worry. So earlier this month they launched Baranova 27, a charitable organization for humanitarian aid named after the address where they and their father were born in Odessa, Ukraine. Though the project began as an Amazon registry, it's now an official non-profit organization, Val says, and is entirely volunteer-based. Their warehouse's landlord, who donated the space, the local police department and Fort Lee's mayor have all rallied around them, he says, adding that he hasn't felt this type of camaraderie since 9-11. It's been amazing to see people who aren't personally touched by Ukraine doing so much, he says. By his last count, the volunteers with Baranova 27 have packaged and boxed more than 210,000 pounds of humanitarian aid, worth more than $160,000. And they're just getting started. Val's brother is now in Warsaw, Poland, helping in the humanitarian effort there as well. Max felt really conflicted, he was traumatized when the war broke out. He was happy to be back with his family but he felt obligated to go back. He built relationships and working there, it didn't feel right for him to be in the States, Val says. Since arriving in Poland, Max has told his brother how tough the situation is with the sheer number of refugees fleeing there from Ukraine. It's tough, the first thing he said is, you don't realize there is a lot of congestion there, Val tells People, the TV show. When refugees get there, it's like, now what? And that's brought a lot of sadness to him, the now what is very hard. While Val says has contemplated going to Poland too, or even picking up a gun and fighting in Ukraine's resistance against Russia, he feels he can best serve the country from America, by organizing the efforts of Baranova 27. Speaking to People, the TV show, on his birthday, Val says the best gift he could receive would be contributions for the besieged country, donate a dollar to the GoFundMe, you can contact Governor Murphy to donate a cargo plane, go to an Amazon registry and send a sleeping bag for a soldier, you gotta start somewhere. Russia's attack on Ukraine continues after their forces launched a large-scale invasion on February 24, the first major land conflict in Europe in decades. Details of the fighting change by the day, but hundreds of civilians have already been reported dead or wounded, including children. More than a million Ukrainians have also fled, the United Nations says. The Russian attack on Ukraine is an evolving story, with information changing quickly. Follow people's complete coverage of the war here, including stories from citizens on the ground and ways to help.